Cargo shorts are a great menswear item. <laughs> This is a way that a man can wear a purse, okay? I can, I have all the functionality that women do as far right. as being able to carry stuff, but now I just have it as a fashion item. Yeah. Yes. You know what's funny you say that? I have, in my mind, twice toyed with the uh, the concept of wearing one of those uh, pouch ones that everybody yeah, wears. They're yeah. wearing fanny packs, but yes. they're wearing them around cross shoulders, so now somehow this shit is acceptable. And I <laughs> got it as the jeans got more slim, and you're like, I can't fit a charger and a phone. Right, and a, right. Oh, that's what the little purse mm -hmm. thing is for. And I'm like, no, nah, get the fuck out of here. I'll just stop looking at my phone. I don't need no fucking yeah, charger. Yeah. <laughs> I will let my phone die before I wear one of those fucking things on me. If you see me with one of those, understand that I got a fashion stylist, yeah. and they <laughs> yep. forced me to do it. And I'll probably do it once and never again. I Boys. think that men should not carry any bags. If it doesn't fit into your pockets... You got to change your lifestyle. Yeah. Cargo pants are the funniest clothing piece of all time. They're great. And so <laughs> I, I would like them to be defended. I don't wear them personally. But if you can't fit it into your pockets, it's like, what do you got to carry as Leave a guy? Leave it behind. A phone, a wallet, and your keys? Yeah. What else are men carrying? Your lighter? Your I cigarettes? Have, I have a bag. I have I have a lot of shit in my bag. I got chargers. I got a, so, so I stick my phone in there. Uh, I got a book that I'm reading. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> which all these could fit in Are cargo you shorts. At me for I'm no, I'm not <laughs> laughing at you for reading. I'm laughing at you because <laughs> these things, like you need them, but you don't need. Like I get it, and that's a New Yorker. New Yorkers hoard in their book bags. Like I do not know a New Yorker, a native New Yorker, whose book bag isn't just. Full of brim. stuff, man. Yeah, everything. You know, an apple from a week ago that they're just like, oh, yeah, I meant to eat that. Sorry. You know, like <laughs> the bags get a little bit out of control. But you should be working to level up to a point where somebody carries your shit for you. You should have a crew of people and someone carries your shit and your job is to look fly. You can be going to work and carrying your shit. But when you're like living your life out, out no bags, no nothing. Even reading in public, we should not allow that. Oh, <laughs> Reading in public? It's ridiculous. <laughs> reading in public, and the worst thing is reading in bars. If I see somebody reading in a bar again, I'm going to lock that bar, and I'm going to burn it down. Especially now. If you have to wear a mask on and read at the bar, man, that's crazy. That's the most offensive thing is reading in a bar, but reading in public, it's like, what are you getting really done there? Go read at home, because I'm, I'm, I'm pro wisdom and knowledge. I don't drink knowledge. at home. I like reading at the bar. What? Reading in public is kind of like masturbating in public. Reading is a private thing, yeah. dude. Don't be out here self bettering yourself in right. front of and all of us. how much are you really, like, containing or, like, absorbing when you have, like, a I, million things I, going I'm on? When I'm sitting at a bar reading, like, if I have a... You sit at a bar, you read your book, but maybe you're waiting for somebody to show up. Whatever it is, you're not being social at the moment. So, or, you know, so, so yeah, do what I do. Drink in a library, okay? <laughs> <laughs>